Hello friends, do you invest in mutual fund via SIP? If yes, this video is for you because in this video, we are going to discuss how we can optimize the return in an SIP. Most of the investors who go and invest in mutual fund via SIP, if I look at the recent data, the market or the Nifty has given us CAGR return of approximately 17%. But in most of the cases, the investors might have not even made 10% return on their mutual fund portfolio. This is happening because there are two problems which we need to fix and uh, generally as a retail investor people do not go and look at their mutual fund portfolio that often and uh, they are not able to find out what exactly is the problem in the portfolio but we'll see two problems which if we fix then we will be able to optimize the return on the mutual fund portfolio or maybe even outperform the benchmark significantly uh, in a long run with our mutual fund portfolio. My name is Subham Agarwal and I am the CEO and founder of Concept Well, uh, which is a quant way of investing in mutual fund. And uh, we have created a model, a quant model called as buy low, uh, which basically optimizes how you can go and invest in mutual fund. So let's go and look at what are the two problems that we'll solve uh, with this buy low model. So let's first understand what the problem is. So if you look at this chart, uh, this chart is telling you that if you do an SIP, then generally people choose a fixed date that on this date, I will go and invest in the mutual fund, let's say fifth of every month. Okay. If you go and look at this uh, vertical lines, these are the lines, which is a fixed date on which your investment will get deployed in the market traditionally in the way of SIP that you have been doing. Now what happens is, uh, if you look at this period from approximately this point to this point is one month, right? So this is one month. So you invested on a fixed date, but what happened is that the market post that went down. If you invested here, the market was flat. Again, if you invested around this area, if I highlight this, if you invested around this area, you can see that during the month, the market actually went much lower than that, which you were not able to grab and your investment was made at a higher price. Similarly, around this areas, of course you did well, but around this area, again, you invested on this date, with the traditional way of investing, but then market gave you an opportunity, uh, which was a decline, which you, uh, you might have not been able to capture. Similarly, it happened around this area and this area. So what is happening is that the problem is that if I choose a fixed date, then I'm eliminating the possibility that I can invest when the market is relatively cheaper during the month. So what if I tell you that you don't have to go and invest on a fixed date. Instead, you can find that what is the approximate bottom during the month and go and deploy your money uh, whenever that is happening. So the solution to this problem is the buy low quant way of investing. So if you look at the, these, so these arrows are indicating you the points when this model gave you a uh, indication to go and buy. Now remember, this is not on a fixed date. What the model is doing is that during the month, whenever it feels, that this is the lowest point and a good value to go and invest in mutual fund, it is giving a signal and on that signal, uh, you can go and invest in the mutual fund. So if you look at some of the signal exactly around the support uh, or the exactly around the throw, throw means that the lowest point that happened on a swing basis, it invested your money, right? So if you go and do something like this, then of course you're not investing at a fixed point instead you're optimizing your return by investing when the market is relatively cheaper. So the second problem in the mutual fund portfolio is underperformance. So let's understand what exactly underperformance is. So if you look at this chart, there are two lines. The blue line is the index, let's say Nifty. And the orange line is the mutual fund uh, that you have invested in. So if you see, generally people go and look at uh, a fund which has been outperforming for the past few years and they deploy their money there. But it is not necessary that the same fund will also give you a good return in the future. That's what is happening there, that after the investment is made in this example, you can see that the orange line has consistently been below the blue line, which means that this fund could not make as much money as the Nifty made, right? So how do we solve this problem? For that, we need to understand the cycles that happens in mutual fund of outperformance and underperformance. So let's understand that 
with this chart. So what is the cycle? So what I've done is I have plotted the outperformance and the underperformance of the mutual fund relative to its benchmark. So if you see this, if this number is 30, what does it mean? It means that this mutual fund on a rolling basis in that time frame was able to make 30% more return than the index itself or the benchmark itself. And if you look at some of these points, something like this. So the mutual fund was underperforming its index by 20%, right? So these are 20, 25% underperformance, again 20, 20. So what if uh, instead of going and investing in the same mutual fund, we take a bunch of mutual funds, let's say four funds, five funds, and we try and identify and invest in funds that are giving you this kind of opportunity. So what happens is that instead of a fixed fund, you are investing in different funds, which is more value or creating more value for your overall portfolio. So now let's go and implement these two problems. How do we go and solve it with the buy low model in Quantsapwell? So we are now in Quantsapwell, so you can see wealth.concept.com is the web application uh, where you can go and log it or if you want to download the mobile application in android uh, we will be very soon coming in ios as well but in android the mobile application is also available and you can get the download link in the description so what i'll do is what i've done is i have opened the uh, buy low model so if you go in quant models you can see that there are a few quant models inside it but we are choosing the buy low model which is basically how you can uh, do SIP in a better way or with a very systematic investment of every month, right? So in this now what you can see is that there are multiple methods of how you can create a model, right? So this is a tool that is helping you go and create a model. So let's say if we discuss the first two types of model that it offers, the first one is benchmark. So what does benchmark do? Let's say if I'm tracking the benchmark of Nifty, and I want to invest when the Nifty is cheaper in the month, right? So my basis to invest will be that whenever Nifty falls and is relatively cheaper, at that point, I'll go and deploy my investment in mutual funds, right? Or the second way of doing it could be individual performance, right? So you can see this is individual performance. What does that mean? It means that I do not care about Nifty. I have four funds. Whenever that fund is cheaper during the month, I will get an alert and I can go and invest in that fund right so these are the two possibilities based on which i can go and create my model and i can invest so let's build a benchmark model first and understand how we can build a model and how we can go and invest in the mutual fund so i'll just click on create new basket the moment i do that either i can use the search box and type my own fund that i want to invest so, so if you have any favorite fund you can go and add them or you can see that these are the some of the uh, model portfolios that we offer, which we continuously keep updating. Uh, so you can choose, choose one of them as well. So yeah, fumble worker. You can choose one of them as well. So if I select the aggressive portfolio, so you can see that there are four funds uh, in the model portfolio right now. So what I can do, I can just click and add all four of them. So you can see that all these four funds are now added to my basket. Now, since it is a tool, so what you can do is, if you want to go and change any setting, in the settings tab you can see that I'm creating this model using Nifty as a benchmark and I'm using 14 days of rolling data to go and create this model. So if you want to edit it, you can or else I can just leave it default and I'll click on apply, right? So what happened is that I can see that now the model is created in no time a model is created for you and what it is indicating, it is indicating that based on benchmark, which is nifty, as I selected, uh, you can see these are some of the signals like around this area uh, is when the last signal was available, uh, which was the relatively lower point to invest in the market. Then again, you can see that around this area, when the market was relatively cheaper, it gave you a signal that around that area, you should go and invest in the market uh, using mutual fund, right? So now let's come to which mutual fund will I be buying around that time? I don't want to buy all four, right? So what it is doing is, so this chart, if I come back to this, this chart is basically solving the first problem of timing the market, right? Instead of a fixed date, you are looking at the relatively cheaper price to invest in the market. Now let's come to the problem two, which we'll solve. 
which is which fund should we invest in so as we saw the solution to of outperformance underperformance so what this model is telling you if i select best two out of four right so it is telling me that based on the outperformance underperformance cycle these two funds are relatively cheaper right it's around maybe the underperformance cycle or relatively underperforming so this is a better value investment right now to go and deploy in that because generally mutual fund will have that cycle it will underperform then again it will outperform so these two funds are relatively better placed which i can go and invest into right so this is the first way of investing based on the benchmark as a model but just in case you don't want to track nifty and let's say you have a fixed set of fund and you want to invest in them so you can also select the individual method right so you can see that all the four funds are plotted but i'll just unselect some of them and let me just select the first one which is tata right so if i see this now the model is generating signal only in the tata fund and you can see that it was able to identify the recent bottom that happened in the fund and then again last month approximately around this point when the fund was relatively cheaper it gave you an opportunity to invest if you see around this point when the fund was relatively cheaper it could not grab the exact bottom but whenever it was relatively cheaper instead of investing on a fixed date it is telling you to go and invest on that day of the month right so you can select either of the models i'll just go back to benchmark again so my model is created based on benchmark or based on individual whatever method you prefer i would say if you are a beginner uh then just go with the benchmark model which is default and that gives you very easy way of investing whenever the market is cheaper you can go and deploy your funds in mutual fund right so all i have to do now is i have the option to either save or save and execute but because i have not created my mutual fund portfolio in the application right now so i'll just say save it okay so what has happened is that now this model is saved but to execute this when i go and click on execute i can see that there's a pop up mutual fund account setup incomplete right so what i'll have to now do next is that i will have to create a mutual fund account which is absolutely free you do not pay any mc anything this account will be created with bsc star right so bsc is where we are executing these orders on so all you have to do is click on this icon and go to my accounts and then you can just add an account and let's say create a new mutual fund so it will ask for your pan number and all the other kyc detail uh, once we fill that this automatically gets submitted to bsc in real time and your mutual fund account will be created right so you'll have to just provide a few basic details and your mutual fund account will be created once it is created you can again go back to the quant model and go to bylo i can see that the basket i created is still there right so i can click on that and then i can execute and process my order of those mutual fund that i want to buy so once you execute the order then you will receive an alert like this on whatsapp which will tell you that your basket is successfully created and your first investment is made then from the next month automatically whenever these uh settings that we have defined in the model uh, once that triggers or whenever the market is cheaper it will send you alert something like this where you can go and see that there's an execute button once you click on that it will bring you back to the application and it will take you to the signal screen which looks something like this and on the signal screen you can see that uh, all the open signal will be visible and you can go and invest uh, using uh, the execute button again and your orders will again be processed so each month you will receive an alert and whenever you receive an alert you just have to approve that order and the order gets processed so by just doing a very basic thing uh, by just uh, investing only maybe a minute or so in a month you can see that you can optimize your sip return far better so what happens is two problems get fixed that you are not investing on a fixed date instead you are investing when the market is cheap second you are not investing in a fixed fund you are investing in the funds that are cheaper by doing these two things you'll be able to amplify the returns on your mutual fund portfolio if you have not downloaded concept wealth yet so you can find the download link in the description box you can use the web application or you can use the android application and uh, you'll be able to 
मेक योर इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड मैनेज योर म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट फ्रॉम द एप्लीकेशन इट सेल्फ थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग मी टू